Hello and good morning. Today we're going to talk about the quick spool valves, which everybody's talking about. And the reason they're talking about them is because we started using them when we made big power, first of all, on the, uh, on the S300 611 horsepower video. Um, they, weren't, they didn't used to be for sale as a separate part because obviously I like to test things for a decent amount of time before we put them onto the market. But now we're, we're fairly confident that there's been no issues uh, and more than happy to put it out for the market. One of the, one of the most important things um, uh, that I have to add is what difference does it actually make? The whole point of why we do this. Uh, one of our S300 turbos, say like the, the one of the bigger end of the S300 range, uh, with a quick spool valve on, we're finding that that turbo will be making full boost at 3000 RPM in the lower gears. Without the quick spool valve, you're around about 4000, just over 4000. So as a, as a ballpark on that particular turbocharger, around 1000 RPM difference, which it makes a very big difference to your overall horsepower production. Because obviously, if we can get <clears throat> the turbo to come in lower down at the rev range, we have a much greater chance of making a high horsepower number before we run out of fuel at the governor and, and obviously the limitations of the diesel engine. We don't want to be revving its brains out. Um, you know, if we can make it very powerful and keep them RPMs down, then that's a much, much better situation. Um, so, yeah. That's the gain, that's the benefit. 1,000 RPM roughly, and obviously the horsepower that comes with it, which we found actually, by the way, on that particular vehicle, around 100, 100 horsepower difference um, over not having the valve and 1,000 RPM sp spool up. So, so there you go. Now, let's explain. So this, obviously, is a twin scroll manifold. It divides the cylinders uh, three and three, and uh, for a turbo like this, a twin scroll turbo, it divides the exhaust gases up um, for each side of the scroll. And the reason it does that is because no two pistons fire at the same time. They never do. Um, so what happens is, as a piston fires, the gas coming out as a ball of gas, and you would picture it as the size of a balloon, for example, um, that balloon has to spin the turbo. Like this, for example. Imagine this coming out of your engine. And then, <laughs> basically, that has to go, if in an open scroll turbo system, this, this, this balloon, uh, which is a scientific prop, has to go in both scrolls at the same time to spin that turbocharger. So that means you're getting half a balloon in each side. Well, that's no good, is it? So, on a twin scroll manifold, how it works, Obviously, only one piston fires at once, so that one balloon, the complete balloon of gas coming out of the cylinder, because only one cylinder fires at once, bum, 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 as your engine's running, that whole balloon goes in one side, which then obviously makes the turbo spool up faster. However, fantastic to get the turbo spooled up, but obviously that then becomes a bottleneck, because this one balloon, eventually, as the RPMs increase, etc., etc., and the boost, rises and all the rest of it that one balloon then struggles to squeeze in that one hole at once which is then when we want that one balloon to be going into both holes and then that brings the drive pressure down that's where a quick spool valve comes in open scrolls do actually tend to be better for the big stuff and that's why you'll see the big garrets and all sorts of things they have one big v-band and not a twin scroll turbo so what we need is something that's in between um, obviously, this is just a standard open scroll, which works great, um, but, but obviously then, you know, you've got no, no major spool benefits. So, the quick spool valve, and what this does, so if you imagine when that gate is closed, um, it's basically covering, uh, it goes the other way, it's basically covering this uh, entry hole to the turbocharger. It would be used on an open scroll manifold. So what would be happening is all six um, expulsions of gas are going into one volume, into one side of the turbo, which helps to spool it up. It's literally like having a smaller AR. Um, this turbo, for example, I think is a 0.9. Um, so if you imagine, it's, it's technically like a 0.45. So that'll spool up like a 0.4, well, not like a 0.45, because you'd never have a housing that small on a turbo this big, but somewhere in between. 
Uh, and then as soon as it gets up to a, a, a point where the turbo is spooled, the valve opens with the use of boost pressure, like that. And then that allows both of the scrolls to come into action. So then your whole exhaust flow can go out a nice big housing, get that gas out and, and really then make some power. And it works really, really nicely, um, especially on big power builds. That's how we achieved the 611 rear wheel horsepower with, you know, well, under 5,000 RPM. It wouldn't have been possible without this. So it's kind of like a very, very, very rudimentary variable geometry sort of thing, um, because obviously you've got two different scroll sizes. Um, so yeah, that's basically the lesson for the day, um, why we use them, and, and what we've used them on. We've got one of these on that one that we discussed, uh, the, the 611. There's one of these on my Charger that made 680. We've got one of these on my G-Wagon, which isn't finished. Um, and there's even one on the, is it coal smoke racing? The people that Goran built a pump for. That's got one of my full turbo assemblies and that's got a quick spool valve. And he commented saying, um, I heard this through Goran, obviously, I never speak to him directly, but he said that it worked really nicely. You know, it made a bigger turbo spool up faster than his original compound setup, which wasn't, I don't think, success I don't know um, so yeah so there you go the history of the quick spool valve and um, and we now sell them separately so if you want to buy a little setup like that um, to put into your manifold your open scroll um, then uh, then by all means go to the shop we'll have it listed um, have fun and have a very good day bye also just to add um, with the quick spool valve system we didn't invent this. I'm not suggesting that we did invent this at all. We're just making it for this particular market. Um, there are other companies that make quick spool valves. I believe they make them and fit them to Supras, another sort of straight six, funnily enough, uh, for, for big big turbo application. So obviously those guys, you know, we, we didn't, I, I don't honestly know who invented it, but we've adopted it and it works really well for the application. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd add that.